The aim of this cross-sectional study was to investigate the occurrence of bacteremia in severe mastitis cases of dairy cows. Milk and corresponding blood samples of 77 cases of severe mastitis were bacteriologically examined. All samples, milk and blood, were incubated aerobically and anaerobically to also investigate the role of obligate anaerobic microorganisms in addition to aerobic microorganisms in severe mastitis. Bacteremia occurred if identical bacterial strains were isolated from milk and blood samples of the same case. In addition, pathogen shedding was examined, and the data of animals and weather were collected to determine associated factors for the occurrence of bacteremia in severe mastitis. If gram-negative bacteria were detected in milk samples, a limulus test, detection of endotoxins, was also performed for corresponding blood samples without the growth of gram-negative bacteria. In 74 cases, 96.1%, microbial growth was detected in aerobically incubated milk samples. The most frequently isolated bacteria in milk samples were Escherichia, E. coli, 48.9%, Streptococcus, S. spp. 18.1%, and Klebsiella, K. spp. 16%. Obligatory anaerobic microorganisms were not isolated. In 72 cases, 93.5% of the aerobically examined blood samples, microbial growth was detected. The most frequently isolated pathogens in blood samples were non-aureus staphylococci, NAS, 40.6%, and Bacillus SPP, 12.3%. The limulus test was positive for 60.5% of cases, which means a detection of endotoxins in most blood samples without the growth of gram-negative bacteria. Bacteremia This article was authored by Isabel Krebs. Yen Chao Zhang, Nicole Went, and others. We are article.tv, links in the description below.